Welcome to Kitco News. I'm Niels Christensen. We're here at uh, Minds of Money Toronto. And joining me today is uh, Steve DeJong. Welcome, CEO of uh, uh, Verify and uh, Chairman of Integra Resources. Um, I sort of wanted to start with your role uh, in Verify. Um, you've been a strong proponent that the mining sector needs to do more to attract investors. How does Verify, a primary you know, technology company, fit into this? So, so Verify is, um, it's, a, it's a technology company that's, that's based on our own, kind of myself and our team's experience in the mining sector. So as, as you know, um, our team uh, built uh, Integra Gold, and from 2012 to 2017, um, we, I, I was very fortunate at a, at a young point, in, or sorry, an early point in my career, to be able to go through exploration, development, kind of permitting, all, all of that. Got to see a, a lot of different parts of a project, but primarily financing. That's kind of, as you know, exploration companies don't make money, so they need money. So we, we really tried to adopt technology in how we, both how we marketed our company and presented ourselves to investors, and how we ran our company and, and looked for opportunities to apply technology to exploration and um, everything else we did. And one of those things that, that we did in Integra Gold is we created these virtual tours of sites because we didn't feel that sort of your traditional corporate deck was really sufficient to communicate the value proposition of your company. And we thought that sort of we'll create this virtual tour and, and simplistically picture some panoramic photos of your site that are just linked together so you can hop from one point to the next and, and learn about sort of what it looks like and, <clears throat> and how that site feels. And based on that experience, going into meetings and, and presenting our company time and time and time again, uh, we realized we would just naturally spend way more time with investors speaking to this, this tour instead of kind of the, the traditional page flip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what we did was we incorporated all the information within our, our deck into our actual tour. So it was almost like you, you chase this trail of breadcrumbs through the tour and by the end of it, they've gone, you've gone through the same 20 slides that you might have in your deck and you can take notes on your paper if you want. But it's all done in the, in the context or with this backdrop of what the site is actually like. So I was gonna say, you've seen healthy growth with Verify. Like companies just sort of, you know, sort of jumping onto this platform. Um, is this just a testament that, you know, the, the sector needs to embrace technology, needs to embrace uh, uh, innovation I more? Think, I think, so what we learned through that whole process was we didn't really know, we initially thought this is more of just a retail tool, you'll throw a tour on your website and then people will be able to do a site visit. What we didn't realize is that as we used it more as a presentation tool, that's where kind of we really started to realize the impact of it. And you could, with, within five minutes with an investor, you could see the reaction um, to that type of presentation versus taking 30 to 60 minutes to kind of go through that, that deck. Um, I think w what we learned through that is essentially the way we present information as an industry isn't sufficient. It, it doesn't do justice to the stories that we have to tell. Mm -hmm. And within all that, you're kind of, we live in a world where everyone's attention span shrinks every day. We need our little dopamine rush from the latest Bloomberg or CNN or Fox News article or whatever it may be. And or Kitco. Or, or Kitco, of course, number one. Um, but uh, what, what we need to, we need to as, as an industry, we need to acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. That kind of, if you look at a press release today and a press release from an exploration company 30 years ago, the only difference is there's probably a few links in it now. Uh, and it's probably a little bit longer because you're not restricted by fax machine pages. So it's, th like those are the things that we need to sort of step back and reassess what we do. And the, the adoption we're seeing at Verify is, is, is really, if you, if you were to download the Verify app on, Android or iOS or kind of go to our website, you'd see today it's probably about 17, maybe 20 companies on it. Um, we have another, say, 25 or so in production right now. We literally can't make these tours fast enough or the, these virtual presentations fast enough. Is, um, is this helping to get uh, the, the much sought after millennial capital? I mean, is this like, do you, is this, is this, one of the reasons why you started Verify too, like to, to get that the younger people who are more tech savvy, who you know know how to use a, a smartphone. Initially, yes. Um, I, I my my view on it has changed, and I, I'm a believer now that sort of the millennial investor or the sort of pool of capital that belongs to the millennial investor is an oversimplification of a problem. I think we should we should approach it more from 
the non-traditional resource investor, which is a millennial, mm -hmm. but it's also probably like most of our parents and a lot of our peers and, and others as well. Probably 90 percent of the, yeah. <laughs> of the peers, general investors. My peers are actually millennials, so it's kind of one. It's one and the same. But I think I think that's how we should approach the problem, not specifically to millennials, but we need to present information in a way that the average person can understand.